Let's welcome Republican Senator Kevin Kramer. Great to have you back on, Senator. What, you what's this. your take on what Senator McConnell is saying? It's good to be with you again, sir. He's, Senator McConnell is saying local and state le leaders are picking and choosing which First Amendment free speech conduct they personally support, like protests, but ban constitutionally protected conduct they feel is less important, like stopping people from going to church or operating their businesses or going to weddings or blocking them from going to funerals. What's your take on this debate? Well, Liz, God forbid that a family of 11 would go to the beach together, but certainly we ought to not only allow, but um, we ought to enthusiastically participate in in mass protests and there is no coronavirus when it comes to that. The one thing that's always consistent about liberal uh, liberals is that they believe that the leader, whether it's the mayor or the governor, probably the president, as long as they're liberal too, we ought to submit to that authority and that authority will determine what we say, what we do, what we think. And so they've, they've taken advantage, frankly, of the moment, in my view, of this, of this pandemic and now of these protests. They've taken advantage of that to try to further get compliance by the peasants, if you will, into uh, what it is that they believe. And frankly, I think the, the leader's exactly right. I think what they're doing is exposing um, just how extreme they really are. Yeah. Let's, uh, Republican Josh Hawley of Missouri sent a letter to Attorney General Barr asking for a probe into civil rights violations against places of worship saying that state officials did commit violations of the First Amendment by favoring protests by, and targeting uh, religious freedom. Senator Kramer, I'd like you to listen to Senator McConnell uh, here talking about this debate. Watch this. For weeks, state and local leaders put normal American life totally on ice and asked citizens to prioritize fighting the virus. For weeks, the mainstream media heaped scorn on any small citizen protest, outdoor gathering, well, the American people did their part. They made necessary sacrifices that clearly helped the country. But now, many Americans feel they've just seen those fastidious regulations and that puritanical zeal disappear in an instant because a new cause has emerged that powerful people agree with. Senator, I just want to give you what Senator McConnell also said. He also cited the Michigan, Mich, governor of Michigan posing with protesters while outlawing gardening, boating, and golf. The D.C. mayor doing the same while outlawing re religious uh, places of worship. And a, Bay Area, a county in California's Bay Area, they allowed protests of 100 people but outlawed all other social gatherings with 12 or more. I mean, how do you square this? Well, if your only conviction, Liz, is, is to have um, sort of tyrannical rule, as long as the ruler is a liberal, then, of course, all the other convictions don't really mean much, and the Constitution doesn't really mean much. The idea, the very idea that you would ban um, worship and church while not, again, not just allowing, but actually championing protests by the hundreds and the thousands uh, is a hypocrisy on top of hypocrisy. And I just hope that the exposure of it is enough to wake up the country. Because quite honestly, I think a lot of people have a lot of pent up anxiety. There are a lot of people who want to go see their mother or their grandmother in a nursing home, but they're not being allowed to by their mayor or their governor. Um, there are a lot of people that, that want to visit family or that want to um, you know, participate in a baseball game, for example, but they're not allowed to. But if they would agree to participate in a protest, unless, of course, it would be a pro-life protest, you know, in front of a, an abortion clinic, um, you know, th that would be just fine. In fact, let me join you as the mayor of your city. It's, it's rich with hypocrisy, and I hope that people are seeing it for what it is. Senator Kramer, thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you.